Hi everyone, in this video we'll replace this old worn carpet with peel and stick carpet tiles or carpet squares. Replacing the carpet is a great way to upgrade the look of a room. The carpet tiles measure 18 by 18 and include a 3 16 of an inch padding. We first remove the old carpet, padding and tack strips. Next, vacuum the floor and dry fit a row each way to sample the layout and adjust as needed. In this case, I'm starting the row along this transition edge because I know it is straight and true. Next, pick a tile near the center of the starting row and mark a starting edge. Note the direction of the direction arrows on the back of the carpet tile and peel and stick the carpet tile onto the floor and press firmly in place. Again, note the direction of the directional arrows and install the next tile butted up against the first tile. And repeat the process. Some installers recommend wiping down the floors with a damp rag to remove dust, but I chose to only vacuum the floors because I learned from refinishing furniture that wiping down wood with a damp rag or sponge uh, raises the fibers in the wood. After the installation, vacuum, vacuum, and vacuum to pick up loose fibers. Believe me, there will be a lot of loose fibers. I actually vacuumed this floor four times and I was still picking up loose fibers. And here's a quick look at the finished edges along the transition to the hardwood floor and at the baseboard. Tip number one is to brush the fibers away from the edges with the palm of your hand. This will minimize the amount of fibers that get trapped between the carpet tiles. Tip number two is for cut pieces. Place the carpet tile face down and transfer and mark the cut measurements onto the back of the tile. When you flip the tile over, the factory cut side will butt up against the full tile and the manually cut side will butt up against the wall or baseboard. Tip number three is to flatten the packing boxes and use them as a cutting surface. Tip number four is to install and use a new razor blade to cut the carpet tiles in one pass. I will save the other half of the carpet tile for use on the opposite wall. Tip number five is to dry fit and adjust the cut piece if needed. Tip number six is to keep a pair of scissors handy to cut loose fibers. You'll find a lot of these during your installation. 